Hello students, today I came with a new video and I discussed chapter number 3, class 6, the cell, part 3. So let's discuss. I was asked a question in the previous video that a cell is the basic dash and dash unit of life. So the answer is a cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Okay. So next we discuss basic structure of a cell. So even the most cells vary in their shape, size, number, but their basic structure is similar. A cell is like a tiny container and bounded by a membrane called is cell membrane or the plasma membrane. And this plasma membrane or the cell membrane, it is filled with a zany like substances called a protoplasm. So, the protoplasm has two parts. Basically, one is the nucleus and second is the cytoplasm. So, nucleus is the darker, dense part is called the nucleus and the semi-solid, jelly-like part is called the cytoplasm. Okay. So, you have to remember what do you mean by cell membrane or the plasma membrane and what is protoplasm and what are the parts of the protoplasm. Next is... Here you can see basic structure of an animal cell and a plant cell. So this is an animal cell and this is a plant cell. You have to remember the bold one. Cell wall, cell membrane, nuclear, cytoplasm, cell organelles. Okay. So next is key points. So a cell is the smallest unit of life that is capable of independent existence and the study of cells is called the cell biology. Please underline this and you have to remember what do you mean by cell biology and this is important for the fill in the blanks questions. Next, the main components of a typical cells are cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus and the cell organelles. So, we discuss, today we discuss a cell membrane or the plasma membrane. Cell membrane, basically each cell is bounded by a thin, delicate skin-like membrane called the cell membrane or the plasma membrane and it allows only selective substances or to pass through it. Hence, it is called a selectively permeable membrane. Please underline this and please remember it, okay? And it is elastic in nature and enables the cell to stretch to some extent that is that are the characteristics of the cell membrane okay so next to discuss the functions of a cell membrane cell membrane basically gives a defined shape to the cell very very important and cell membrane control the movement of the material in and out of the cell this is also very important and basically cell membranes provides protections to the internal components of the cell from uh, injury Okay, so these are the basic functions of a cell membrane. Next is cell wall. Cell wall basically found only in a plant cell. Please remember cell wall found only in a plant cell. So a plant cell has an additional protective wall around the cell membrane called the cell wall. And this cell wall is non-living and it is permeable that is permeable means it allows free passage of substances through. Okay. So, this cell wall is made up of a complex carbohydrate called the cellulose. Please underline this and please you have to remember the cellulose. So, what are the basic functions of the cell wall? Cell wall gives a definite shape to a plant cell and basically cell wall provides a strength and rigidity to the cell. This line is important because the cell wall provides strength and rigidity to the cell. So next is the, the difference between the cell wall and the cell membrane are given in a table 3.1. This is very very important. Okay. Please remember the difference. So what are the difference? Difference is the cell wall is the outermost thick protective layer of a cell. But the cell membrane is the outer covering of the protoplasm in a cell. Cell wall found only in the bacteria and the plant cells, but cell membrane found in plant and animal cell both. Cell wall is non-living and cell membrane is living. Okay. 
So in case of cell wall, it is permeable and allows free passage of the substances through it. But in case of cell membrane, it is selectively permeable. Okay, so these are the basic difference between cell wall and the cell membrane. So here is a question for you. The study of a cell is called DAS. So you have to tell the answer in the comment box below. And then I will uh, answer the exact answer in the next uh, video. Okay, so we have done up to here. You can read this chapter up to here. And in the next video, I will discuss next parts. So thank you. Tata. Bye-bye. See you in the next class.